Hello and welcome back. This is Mustafa Bayrak here. And uh, as you see or as you feel that sometimes we are walking on the main streets of London or New York and sometimes we are uh, as if we are uh, walking in the small streets uh, of London or New York. Yes, we are. Uh, we are becoming familiar with the city. Yes, in reality, we are becoming familiar with English. All of them are connected with each other. Okay. Yes, today uh, we are going to uh, study some useful structures, some useful uh, English expressions uh, which are like the streets of a city. Okay. Yes, uh, first of all, for example, here is uh, an image and the young man on the left says what he really means. What he really means is a subject or an object. Yes, what here is not a question word. What he really means is that you are doing well. What he says is that you can do this, for example. Okay. This is what he says. Okay. You can do this is what he says. Or <clears throat> you are doing well is what he really means. Yes, of course, uh, we will completely, totally uh, learn them in the advanced level, but let's become familiar with them for now or from now on. Okay. What he really means is this. What does Jordan mean here? What is the question word? What does Jordan mean? He really means that the, the schedule needs timing. What else does he say? What he says is this. He also says that everything should be proper places because this firm specializes in timing and scheduling. Scheduling or scheduling, both are correct. Okay, uh, here are three gifts. Perfect timing. Yes, this is perfect timing, or perfect timing is this. Okay, timing is everything. Timing is everything. Timing is very important. So we should give importance to timing. We should know the value of timing. We should be aware of timing. Timing is everything. What's the schedule for this week? What's the schedule for this week? The schedule is this. Yes. According to schedule, we are going to study. Uh, yeah, we are going to start. Yes, we are going to start tour three. So we have finished. Okay, we have finished tour two, and uh, with this presentation, with this first trip, trip one, we will start studying tour three. In tour three, we are going to learn, for example, starting with says that we are going to learn as if positive comparative superlative degrees of adjectives and adverbs and comparisons and there is a very useful uh, structure for example the comparative plus subject verb object and the comparative as sentence again the same size as the past continuous tense yes we are going to learn the past continuous tense in this tour. Sentences as simple. We are going to uh, we are going to have 
a general idea about the simple sentences, complex sentences, and compound sentences. Okay. Yeah, either or, neither nor, both, and etc. etc. Yes. Trip one says that. Who says what? Yes, who says what? What does Peter say? Peter says that Rosie is a florist. Peter says that Rosie is a florist. Okay. Who says that she is a florist? Who says that she is a florist? Yes, who says that? Peter says that Rosie is a florist. In London, yes. Do you see after that, that uh, there is subject, there is verb, there is object, and even there is complement. There is a, there is the complete sentence structure, but we don't call it a sentence. We call it a clause, that clause. But Peter says it is the main clause, okay? Peter says that the rose is a beautiful flower. Yeah, I advise you to make sentences with all of them, making them that close, okay? What else does Peter say? By putting that, for as Rosie is a girl's name, is a complete sentence, but if we put that there, then it becomes a clause, okay? Rosie is a girl's name. Uh, there's a message in it, okay? But if we put that in place of a sentence, it becomes a subordinated sentence, okay? Not a main sentence, main clause. Uh, okay, so that Rosie is a girl's name, okay? That, what? That Rosie is a girl's name hasn't got a message in it, okay? But it becomes a complete sentence like this, Peter says that Rosie is a girl's name, okay? That there is a rose near the gift box. That, for example, there is a gift box and there is a rose near the gift. Is also possible, is also true, near the gift box, for example. What else does Peter say? Peter says that Rosie likes roses. Hmm. I've got the message now. Peter says, okay? Peter is saying this. Or Peter has said, has said. Peter is also possible. Peter has said Rosie likes roses. Peter says that they can take this rose. Peter says that they have some roses. Peter says that he bought a rose. Peter says that Rose, Rosie has been a florist. You can do, you can study this page like this or like this. Dialogue one. Peter says that the rose is a beautiful flower. What else does Peter say? Peter says that Rosie is a girl's name. What else does Peter say? Peter also says that there is a rose near the gift box. What else does Peter say? Peter also says that Rosie likes roses. Yes. What else is Peter saying? What else has Peter said also possible because of being present? Okay, present. We will uh, see it completely comprehensively at the advanced level, why is it like this? Okay. What else, for example, has Peter said? Peter has said, has said that they have some roses. What else has he said? He has said that he bought a rose. Or he has said that Rosie has been a florist. Now, continuity or the duration is period is important. Rosie has been a florist for 10 years, for example. Peter says that, Peter is saying that, Peter has said that Rosie has been a florist for 10 years. 
Okay. Now, there are two gifts. Who knows? The one on the left says that. Who knows? The one on the right says. Do you think everybody knows? Do you think everybody knows what it is? Do you know if everybody knows where she is? Do you think do you think everybody knows everything? Okay, who knows? So when is a conjunction? When, where, what, why? Okay, they are both question words and conjunctions, connectors, link, links. They are links. Here, when is a link? Who knows when they will leave and return? Why is there a question mark here? There's a question mark because of who knows? Yes. All the family know. All the family know when they will go to Canada. Yes, when they will go to Canada. But none of them knows when they will return. None of them knows when they will return. When will they turn back? When will they come back from Canada? Okay, yes, here is the heading. They know where, they know when, they know how, they know why, or they know that a close, okay, that close. With where, where close. With when, when close. With how, how close. With why, why close, okay? Okay. They know or they don't know. Or question, do you... Uh, do they know? Do they know? Or don't they know? Also possible. Don't they know where they will go? Yeah, they know the dialogue too. They know where they will go. Do they know when they will come back? No, they don't know when they will come back. When they will, not will they, okay? No, they don't know when they will come back, return, when they will return when they will turn back from Canada. The manager knows, the director, or the manager or the director, the manager knows when he must speak. Hmm. Does he know where he must speak? Yes, he also knows when he must speak. So, as a result, we understand that. We see that the manager knows where and when to speak. Okay, this is the short way of saying it. Reduction, we call it. So, when to speak, where to speak. We understand that the manager knows where to speak and when to speak. In short, shorter than shorter, where and when to speak. Okay, okay the dialogue. Uh, Dialogue for A. You know, you know how you can earn money. You know it. You know the way. Okay. You know how you can earn money. You know how to. In short way, in a short way, in a short form, you know how to earn money. You know how you can earn money. How you will earn money. How you must earn money. Do you know how you can spend it? Yes, fortunately, I know how I keep how I can spend it. Do you know how you can spend it? No, unfortunately, I don't know how I can spend it. I don't know how I will spend it. They know where to, yes, the short form. They know where to, when to, how to, why to. Okay, they know where to go, okay? Instead of saying where they will go, we can shorten it like this. They know where to go. Do they know when to go? Yes, they also know when to go, when to go, okay? Yes, yeah, this is called reduction. And the first uh, gift says, I don't know, I don't know. But the second, if say, 
I swear I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. Yes, believe me. Okay. Reduction. I don't know where I will go or I don't know where to go. Is it clear? I didn't know where I would go or I didn't know where to go. Did you know when to go? No, I didn't know when to go either. Do you know how to go? Yes, yes, I know how to go. Did you know? Sorry, did you know how to go? Yes, I did. Yes, I knew. Yes, I knew how to go. Uh, I went there by plane. Okay. Who do you want to see? Who do you want to see? I want to see the manager. I want to see the director. Do you know where to where to speak and when to speak? Yeah. What does the give? Say what does the young man say? He says, I know, I know how to speak. Yeah, I know how to speak English, French, and a variant of Chinese called Cantonese. Okay. She know he knows, he knows how to speak how to speak those languages. Dialogue seven, A. The manager or the director knows when to speak. Does he know where to speak? Yes, he also knows where to speak and when to speak, where to speak. So we understand that the manager knows when and when to speak or where and when he will speak. Do you know that, yes, do you know that there are how-to books? Yes, I do, means, yes, I know that there are how-to books and how to do something. I also know that there are how to make a GIF videos, for example. The GIF on the right is about, is about, it is about, how to make a gift, okay? How to make a gift from the beginning to the end. Okay. Now the images on the left are, as you see, they are, one of them is about how to win friends, how to influence people, written by Dale Carnegie. Dale Carnegie wrote that book, famous writer, you know, everybody knows I. Dale Carnegie. The second uh, image is about how to start a podcast, a live podcast. Eight, dialogue eight. You know how to earn money. Yeah, congratulations, congrats. You know how to earn money. Do you know how to spend it? No, unfortunately. I don't know how to spend it, or I don't know how I will spend it, how I can spend it, uh, how I have to spend it. Okay. Do you know how to save it? Yes. Thank God. Fortunately, it is good that it is fortunate that these are beautiful expressions. It is fortunate that I know how to save money. Who knows how to manage your money? Who knows how to manage your money? My father knows how to manage my money, besides his money. And for example, seven ways to spend money wisely. Okay. So I advise you uh, the book uh, called Seven Ways to Spend Money Wisely must be about money management, how to manage your money. There are seven ways to manage your money. Okay, that with the heading that I am, you know this, let's, uh, let's uh, go on studying from what we know, what we already know and uh, try to, try to, gain what we don't know.
I am sure that Nazmi is a tailor. Yes, I am sure that. I am certain that. I think that. You know them. I am sure that Nazmi is a tailor. Are you certain that Burak is a cashier? Yes, I am certain that she, he is a cashier. Do you know that <coughs> Yasemin is a teacher? No, I don't know that she is a teacher. Do you think that Ali and Willi are happy? Yes, I think that Ali and Willi are happy. In fact, actually, I know, I know that they are happy. Then, nobody knows or anybody doesn't know. Do you see the difference? Both have negative meaning. Nobody knows, anybody doesn't know where Daniel went. Does anybody know when he will return? No, anybody doesn't know when he will return. Or, no, nobody knows when he will return. Who knows whether he is fine or not? Who knows if he is fine or not? Or who knows whether or not, okay? Whether or not he is fine. His mother knows that he is fine. Who knows whether uh, he is fine or not? His mother does. His mother knows that knows that he is fine this time or his mother knows if he is fine or not but he does she doesn't tell she doesn't tell anybody okay ask if ask what ask where ask how for example this is really interesting and useful exercise a ask me if robert is in New York. A. So B says, is Robert in New York? So simple, in fact. Ask me whether Robert is in New York. Is Robert in New York? Okay? Yes or no question. Yes, he is in New York. Ask me if Jason is with him. What will you say here? Ask me if Jason is with him or not. So, is Jason with him or is Jason with him or not? Question mark. Yes, Jason is also with him. They are together. 12. Ask me what Carl, Ca Carlos needs. Okay, ask me what Carlos needs. What do you do in this situation? Ask me what Carlos needs. So B says, what does Carlos need? Yes. Did B asked his or her question? Yes. He asked or has asked, has just asked, or he asked his question two seconds ago. Okay. In a perfect way. What does Carol Carlos need? Now C answers. He needs a shirt. He needs a shirt or a t-shirt. Please ask me what Max wants to do. What do you say here? How do you ask your question? Ask me what Max wants to do. So we ask like this. What does, what does Max want to do? He wants a pair of glasses. He wants, Max wants a pair of glasses. 13a, please ask me. Please, uh, this, uh, according to the situation, prepare yourself. Get ready, uh, get ready to ask. Get ready to ask a question. Please ask me where Elliot was last Monday. Okay, where was Elliot last Monday? He was in Konya. Ask me what there was in Konya. Okay, what was there in Konya? There was a meeting in Konya. There was a seminar in Konya. 
Protein A. Ask me how Alex will go abroad. Yeah. Can you ask this question? Ask me how Alex will go to abroad. So we take this how conjunction as a question word and ask our question like this. How will? How Alex will is, is a same clause here, but how will Alex becomes a question. How will Alex go abroad? How will he go abroad? He will go abroad by train. Please ask me if he enjoys traveling by train. So you should ask a yes or no question. What does he wants us to do? He C wants us uh, to ask if he enjoys traveling by train. So does he? Does he enjoy? Does he enjoy traveling by train? Yes, he does. Yes, he enjoys traveling by train. Ask me why he will go abroad. Okay, why is conjunction here? Ask me why he will go abroad. So let's use it as a question. Why will he? Okay, why will he go abroad? He will go abroad to improve his English, to make his English better. Now, yes, these are non clauses, but we will see them. Uh, we will see them in detail in the advanced level. I think these are really useful and enough for now. Yes, let's uh, focus on the definition of non clauses. If we use the question words, what as we did, as we have done in the previous uh, dialogues. Yes, if we use the question words, what, where, when, why, how, how many, how much, yes, who, which, whose, as a conjunction, we get the noun clause, okay? Just like a noun, just like a noun, we can use a noun clause as a subject or an object of a sentence. Why not? Okay, it uh, happens like this. Noun clause plus verb, for example, noun clause as a subject, then we use verb and noun clause as an object, and we use put, we put there a com, uh, com, com, uh, complement if necessary. Yes, if whether, for example, if you want a book, yes, uh, whether you want a book, why there are miner minerals? Why there are minerals? These are clauses. How much you earn? That you are here. For example, let's make it a subject. That you are here. That you are here. This non clause. That you are here is. Another noun clause uh, that you are here. Uh, is that I am here, that I am here. OK. Because we are having our lesson together. OK. That you are here is important. That you are here matters for me just as a subject, or uh, it is good. It is good that you are here as a non clause. It is good that you are here. Where they met, where they met is important for me. Do you know where they met? Yes. When you come, when you come, please let me know when you come. Okay, when you come, uh, when you come is important for us. What you do will, as it, let's use it as a subject, what you do, what you do will determine your identity, will decide your identity, 
will constitute your identity. What you do will constitute or what you do uh, makes up your identity. Okay. What you do is important. How many you will buy interests me. Okay. How long you have wanted to. How you will buy is also important for a book. For example, I know if you want a book. Okay. As an I know if you want a book. Now I'm close here. If you want a book. Okay. If you want a book. is known by me. If you want a book or not, or whether, whether you want a book or not, is known, not M, N, they are together, okay. <laughs> okay. If you want a book, is known by me. I don't know, I don't know why there are minerals, or I know there are minerals, why there are minerals. Why there are minerals is not known by me. I haven't studied that subject. Okay, now let's see them one by one. Uh, Sometimes, uh, first of all, as a subject, and then as an object of a sentence. Roman number 1a. Noun clause as subject of a present main clause. For example, where he will go is necessary for us. Where he will go is subject here, just like an apple. An apple is necessary for us, is good for us. Where he will go is good for us. What else is necessary for you? How he will go is also necessary for us. What else is necessary for you? When he will return is also necessary for me or for us. Dialogue 16a. Time to travel. It says time to travel. Where he will go is important for us. Is it also important for you why he will go there? Yes, sure. It is also important for us. Uh, but why he will go there is also important for us. Let me answer it again. Is it also important for you why he will go there? Yes, it is also important for us why he will go there. Okay. Or why he will go there is also important for us. Now, as B, Roman number B, noun clause as subject of a Past main clause, okay? Where he went was important for us. What else was important for you three years ago? How he went was also important for us. What else was important for you? Uh, when he will return. Sorry, sorry. When he would return. When he would return was also important for me. 18. It was important that he left the firm. It was also important where he went. Was it also important why he went without saying goodbye? Yes, it was also important why he went without saying goodbye. Now, Roman number two, noun clause is object of a sentence of a present main clause. First, then past main clause. First, present. Okay, I don't know where he went. Do you know where he goes? Do you know where he goes? Yes, I know where he goes every day, habitually, routinely. Do you know where he will go? Yes, I know where he will go, where he can go. Okay, two lines from a song of Gina, from the song Tiamo. And a rhythmic and really lively, beautiful, melodic song. Yes, I remember it, for example. What is it? I remember when I saw your face. Huh. I remember when I saw your face. I remember the moment. Yes. 
the day. I remember the day. Well, full stop is a sentence. The day is a noun. So when I saw your face is also a noun. So we call it noun clause. Okay. We will finish studying those uh, those noun clauses at uh, at the advanced level. Okay. I remember when I saw your face. I wanna be where where do you wanna be? I wanna be where the sun is shining. Hmm. I wanna be on that island, for example. I wanna be where the sun is shining. Okay. Where and when are not question words, as you can easily see, they are conjunctions here, connectors, they are links here, where the sun is shining. 20A, I don't know. I don't know where he will go. Can you guess where he can go? Yes, I can I can guess where he can go, in fact. Yes, yes, I can guess where he can go. Where he can go. I can guess where he uh, what he is doing. Can you guess whom she is looking for? Yes, I can guess whom she is looking for. She is looking for. Her pet bird. Pet bird. Okay, 22A. I want to see, or I want to see. So, sorry, sorry. I want to learn. I want to learn. I want to learn where he went. Do you want to learn when he went? Yes, of course. I want to learn when he went. Not when did he go, okay? When did he go is the question word. With the question word when, but here when he went is with the conjunction when. Okay, 23. Neriman couldn't explain where Newman stayed. Past, past. Being closed. Past of Kent. Uh, state is also past. Could we explain how long he had stayed there? Yes, I could explain. How long he had stayed there? Twenty four A. I didn't know where Nadir went. Who knew? I didn't know. Three months ago, I didn't know where Nadir went. Who knew where he went? His friend Hassan knew where he went. Did you know how he went there? Yes, I also knew how he went there. He went there by a motorcycle, on a motorcycle. Now, is this an apple or a pear? Of course, it's an apple. 25, this is an apple. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want. Is this what you want? No, this isn't what I want. Oh, no, it isn't. Yes, this is what I want. Just like saying, yes, it is. Is this what you want? Is this it? Is this this? Is this that? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Is this it? Instead of, say, instead of saying, is this it? We say, is this uh, what you want? Yes, this is what I want. Or yes, it is. No, what I want is not this. No, it isn't. Yes, what I want is this. Yes, it is. What I want is this. What I want isn't this. What I want is this. I want an apple. What I want is an apple. Yeah. Now, so we have finished present perfect. Yes, we have finished studying uh, our tour three trip one, and we have started tour three. So we will, uh, I will make a new playlist. It will be the third playlist of Harmony to intermediate level. Okay. Uh,
Okay. The first trip. Trip one. Okay. Two, three, trip one. Please choose correct alternative. Question one. The advertisement blank that there are discrete hotels, sultan's palaces, and villas with pools there. So, say, set, seeing, having set, uh, saying, we omit, uh, we delete it, yes. Having said, no, it's a phrase. Set and says, what about this? But if we choose set, then then what will do you know what uh, what will happen? That there are should be in there were. So we choose says we will study them in the advanced level. And for if there are conditional sentences, non-clauses, adjective clauses, direct, indirect speeches, okay. They are like centers of New York and or London. Yes that you can find all the four basic sentence structures in those centers. Yes, they are like centers or squares of a city, which have connections with all the sentence types in English. Okay, the advertisement says is true. Okay, the advertisement says that there are discrete hotels, sultan's palaces, and villas with pools there. Question two. Do you say that? Let's look for a sentence, a complete sentence with its all elements as subject, verb, object, if possible, complement. Yes. Do you say that? Can No, we, can, we cannot choose a question here, okay? B, learning, no, no, no. Learning English in two ways, and then it is not a, it is, it, it, it is, it isn't a sentence here. We, we should look for a clause, a sentence. To learn English in a short time, no. It's a phrase to learn English in a short time. So what about the, we can learn English? Oh, this is what we are looking for. This is what we need, okay? Do you say that we can learn English? Yes, I can say that. We can learn English. We can acquire English. We can have English. Okay. Three, did he say that? Then again, we are going to look for a sentence, not a question for, not expressions, okay? Just a sentence. Because uh, there is question mark because of did. Okay, did he say that? Uh, were they no? No, we don't look for a question form. What about he can come no because did he start with did? We will understand it deeply in the advanced level because it's it is in the main clause is in the the past form. So we can choose a present form of even model. Even a model. Okay. What about the others? Uh, uh, she has written no. She has written uh, it is present. So we don't look for any kind of present sentence. Okay. Including, including present perfect. Okay or continuous forms of it. Okay, so uh, we should look for what did C. C is the true answer, the correct one. Uh, did he say that he could help them the next day? Okay, this is what we are looking for. Okay, the manager knows when, again a sentence, to speak, no, no, speak, spoke, has spoken. So, uh, to speak, sorry, sorry, but short form is with to. Yes, do you remember it? The manager knows when to speak is enough. Okay. Blank is a mystery. So, where can, no, question, not, not question. 
Where did Simon go? Not question. Uh, where has Sano? Where Simon went? Yes, this this is what we are looking for. Okay, where Simon went is a mystery. He is true. Now vocabulary building, drawing a conclusion by reasoning, concluding by reasoning or deduction by deducing. I infer that we have to learn a foreign language. What do you infer from our situation? I infer that we have to learn how to use a computer. Or we have, I infer that uh, we have we have to learn our iPhones or smartphones, the computers uh, efficiently, productively. Yes. I can infer that more cars will be exported. What can you infer from that statistics? Yes, I can infer that they will employ a lot of people. I can infer that a lot of people will be employed is passive form, okay? Will be employed. I can infer that they will import, they will employ a lot of people active, but a lot of people will be employed passive. I can easily infer from these small footprints that someone saw the criminal. So there is a witness. Who can infer from the passage that David is no longer a tutor, tutor at the language school? What can we infer from the passage about Suzy? We can infer that she probably inherited her artistic ability from her family. She probably inherited, received her artistic ability from her family. Mania for something is now a strong desire for something for interest in something, madness, insanity, psychosis, mental illness, fascination, preoccupation, fixation, ruling passion, idefix, compulsion, addiction, hobby horse, phobia, complex, neurosis. Yeah, stronger than obsession. Right? Tendency means trend, inclination, bend, inclining, learning. He has a tendency to this side. He has a tendency to this side, not to that side. He has a tendency to learn English. Okay. I've heard about, I have heard about Sedat's mania for, okay? Sedat's mania for watches. He is extremely fond of, fond of watches. He has a mania for buying watches. Wrist watches, for example. Have you heard about Nilgün's mania for umbrellas? Yeah, unfortunately, I have heard about Nilgün's mania for buying uh, different colors of different styles of umbrellas. Mania for something. Or obsession for something. A Serdar has a tendency, but tendency is a natural, uh, natural state, natural position. Serdar has a tendency to be a police officer. What kind of tendency does he have today? He has a tendency to speak slowly today. Okay. Now, uh, take your job serious is a beautiful expression. All of us need it. All of us should be use it uh, very easily. Take your job seriously, but not yourself means don't take yourself, your ego, maybe, your ego seriously. And the next image says, do you take yourself too seriously? 
take somebody or something seriously, it's an idiom, means treat someone or something as being very important and deserving attention or deserving respect. Regard or see somebody or something as important. Consider somebody something as important. Take some, somebody, for example, I take my father seriously. I take my father's job seriously. I take everybody seriously. I take everybody seriously. Okay, I take rewarding and punishing in education. I take rewarding and punishing seriously. By the way, what do you take seriously and what do you take slightly in your life? What do you not take seriously in your life is also is also is also uh, take something slightly. Okay. I take education seriously, but <coughs> uh, I don't take education slightly. I don't take education slightly. I take, uh, I take, or what do I take slightly? Uh, I don't, okay, it's difficult to make a sentence. Uh, okay. I take uh, speaking too much, speaking too much slide. I take the balance between form and function seriously, yes. Ah, okay, we can take slightly one of them. For example, form. I take the form slightly, but I take the balance between form and function seriously. <coughs> okay. I regard the balance between form and function or essence as important, yes, regard somebody something as important, consider somebody something as adjective. I consider the balance between form and function as important. I take wasting time slightly, yeah. I don't give importance to wasting time. So I take wasting time slightly. I take and making use of time seriously. I take managing time wisely, slightly, seriously. Okay. I take wisely managing time seriously. Emphasize, yeah, emphasize means give importance to. I emphasize English means I give importance to English. Means also, I take English seriously. Okay, thank you again. Thank you very much. And I wish you a good day. See you next time.